Which laptop are you using right now and what is your opinion on it? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. Apple MacBook Air M1 – Best for Most People The MacBook Air is the first of two new laptops with Apple's first-of-its-kind own brand M1 processor, which makes for a giant leap in performance and battery life. From the outside, almost nothing about the M1 MacBook Air has changed since the one from April. They match in size and weight, number of ports, microphones, and speakers. The speakers are just amazing and perfect for music production. The inside of the Air is almost exactly the same as its predecessor too, apart from one very important part – the processor, or more accurately, the System on a Chip, or SOC, which combines processor, graphics, and RAM all in one package. The new M1 replaces the Intel Core i3, i5, or i7 of its predecessor. In the cheapest MacBook Air, as tested, it has an 8-core processor CPU and a 7-core graphics processor or GPU, with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage, but an 8-core GPU option is available. The M1 has four high-performance CPU cores that handle the demanding stuff such as crunching data and editing photos, while four high-efficiency CPU cores handle lightweight tasks such as sending emails. Apple declared its M1 chip would enable all-day battery life, and the company has hit that mark. This MacBook Air rarely is one of the best business laptops in the market, without a doubt. Number 4. Acer Aspire 5 A515 – Best Budget Option The Aspire 5 is an amazing 15-inch laptop that's not very expensive and has a great performance. It's very thin and weighs less than 4 pounds. It also has a great battery life for the price. If you're looking for an inexpensive 15-inch laptop, the Aspire 5 might be the one for you. It has a 1920x1080 resolution display, and the IPS panel gives solid viewing angles. It has a 10th-generation Intel Core i5-1035G1 CPU with 8GB DDR4 and 256GB NVMe SSD. On the right side, it has a USB 2.0 Type-A port and a combo audio jack. On the left, it has a pair of USB 3.0 Type-A ports, along with Gigabit Ethernet, a USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type-C port, and an HDMI port. It has a great performance, it's amazing for multimedia and stuff, and you could also play some games from time to time on the Aspire 5 without a problem. The battery life of this laptop is great. It can last you up to 10 hours. It's a great laptop overall with an amazing performance and a beautiful and simple design. Check this one out if you want an inexpensive laptop that delivers great performance and many more amazing features. Definitely one of the best for making music. Number 3. MacBook Pro M1 – Best for the Money The MacBook Pro with M1 delivers a killer combo of blazing performance and epic battery life, even if the design is too familiar. The MacBook Pro, traditionally equipped with the lineup's beefiest processor and capable of handling intense professional tasks, has up to now been Apple's top-tier laptop offering. But its status is somewhat in limbo thanks to a recent 13-inch Pro refresh featuring the company's M1 chip, a processor that just so happens to also be running under the hood of the company's latest Air. It certainly looks and feels identical to previous MacBook Pro 13-inch models, so anyone looking for a radical new look to match the radical new hardware inside is going to be disappointed. The keyboard is the same magic keyboard as the one introduced with the MacBook Pro 13-inch earlier in the year. This was a welcome change at the time as it replaced the controversial butterfly switch keyboard, which was often prone to reliability problems. Normally, powerful laptops have to make do with shorter battery lives, but the MacBook Pro 13-inch M1 2020 manages to balance performance with a battery life that can last well beyond the whole workday, which makes this beast one of the best productivity laptops. Number 2. Dell XPS 15 9500 – Best Runner-Up Moving on, we have the Dell XPS 15 9500, which has been for a long time one of the best laptops out there, thanks to its amazing balance between price and combination of performance and features. It's also a very attractive laptop, and the panel is just amazing. Let's take a closer look. The Dell XPS 15 9500 is made from a combination of aluminium and carbon fiber. This combo delivers durability and lightweight body at the same time. The carbon fiber deck looks very high-tech, and while we are at it, I should state that the keyboard delivers snappy performance. The Dell XPS 15 measures just 0.7 inches at its thickest point, 
It's also packed with a great number of ports, including two USB-A ports, SD card reader, a Thunderbolt 3 port, HDMI 2.0, and a 3.5mm headset jack. I should mention that the speakers are just amazing, which makes this laptop great for music production. Also noteworthy is the color reproduction of this panel that's at 240% of the sRGB color space. The brightness is at 630 nits, which is blinding, to be honest. In the performance department, it's equipped with everything to get you through your day-to-day -day tasks and even go the extra mile. It has an Intel Core i7-10750H CPU with 16GB of RAM and 1TB of high-speed SSD. For graphical tasks, it has the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 Ti GPU with 4GB of dedicated VRAM. It definitely is one of the best Dell laptops in the market. Number 1. Apple MacBook Pro 16-inch – Best Overall The Apple MacBook Pro 16-inch is the next entry on the list, and it's the best laptop for video editing and graphic design purposes, as well as the best on today's list of music production. I can also say it's the best MacBook ever made. It has an immersive display, great new keyboard, speakers that pump up plenty of sound, and great performance specs that allow you to get through anything. It is slightly bigger than the 15-inch version by just some millimeters, it's just 24.6 mm thick at its thickest point, and it weighs about 4.3 pounds. The keyboard is also pretty good, with a new Magic Keyboard that's clicky and satisfying to type on. Writing on it, I didn't lose any speed at all, and it delivers great stability with the scissor mechanism. The Touch ID button works well too, as it delivers great performance and safety. It also works as a power button. Moving on to the performance, the Apple MacBook Pro 16-inch is a class-leading 9th generation 6-core Intel Core i7 processor, which has the complementary Intel UHD graphics 630 unit. There's also the ultra-fast 512GB SSD and 16GB of RAM, which delivers a great performance. It has a dedicated graphics unit as well besides the integrated one, the AMD Radeon Pro 5300M unit with GDDR6 memory making it a beast. Buying Guide Frequency An important factor to look for in a processor is the frequency. This is the speed of the processor and is measured in gigahertz or GHZ for short. The frequency used to be the most important factor to look at when all computers are just a single core, and it does still make a difference. The higher the frequency, the better. In some cases, a very high frequency dual core could actually outperform a lower frequency quad core. I would recommend a frequency no lower than 2.2 GHz, but the higher the number, the better, so see what you can stretch your budget to. RAM Music production software hits your laptop's memory hard, particularly as you add more plugins, etc. to your process. RAM stands for Random Access Memory, rather than the long-term memory. RAM is the short-term working memory. It is much quicker for the laptop to use the RAM to quickly access data it needs rather than accessing it from the hard drive every time. I've been trying to think of a metaphor for this for a while, but this is the best I can do. RAM is a bit like a wallet full of money. Whenever you need to pay for something, you can quickly dip into your RAM wallet to grab some money. The hard drive is more like the bank. It stores stuff away that's not needed quite so quickly. Hard drive if you have a high-spec laptop, you shouldn't have an issue storing audio data on the internal hard drive. But if you want to make sure you have absolutely no issues with performance, then an external hard drive is well worth getting. This will allow you to use just the internal hard drive for running an operating system, door, and plugins, whilst any audio tracks and samples can be kept separate on the external drive. This external hard drive 